Please remember that the complete information for the class that you are about to view is at elithecomputerguy.com. Not only do we have our videos there, but we have part lists, diagrams, pictures, and even complete code examples. So if you are watching this video and you want more information, please go to elithecomputerguy.com. Welcome back. As you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and in today's class, I'm going to be showing you how to use Git in PHP in order to send variables and values within hyperlinks. So this can be a very useful thing in order to create a dynamic PHP web application if you need to be sending variable values in, frankly, a pretty unsecure fashion. So think about things such as, what if you want your users to be able to change the font size? So again, from a user experience standpoint, what if you want somebody to be able to click on a hyperlink and simply make the font size for the text bigger? Uh, being able to use Git is a very useful and easy way to do that. Or if you want to do basic things such as do simple searches within a MySQL uh, database. So let's say you want to show all images or all records from a specific user, or you want to see all records that associate with a specific tag, then using Git within PHP is an easy way to do that. Essentially, the hyperlink is formatted in such a way that when you click on the hyperlink, it then sends the variable name and the variable value to the PHP script. The PHP script can then pull out the value from that variable, uh, and then it is now a variable that you can interact with however you want. So it is important to understand that when you're using Git, this is a very insecure way of being able to send variable values, but it is also a very easy way of doing so, and so it might be useful for your PHP application. So with that, let's go over. I will do a demonstration to show you what we're going to be coding for today. Uh, then I'll go and actually show you the code and show you how this works. So here's the demonstration that we're going to be building today. Basically what I've done is I've created uh, four different hyperlinks here. And with these hyperlinks, what they will do is they will format the text down here. Uh, so this is the text without any formatting at all. You can see we have gone to my server and we've gone to a script called git.php. And when you simply come here, this is everything that prints out. Now, basically what I've done with these hyperlinks is this first hyperlink here says change color to blue. This hyperlink is then going to send to this git.php script the value for the color being blue. So if I click on this, we can now see that's git.php color equals blue. And down here, we can now see that the text is blue. If I click on the change color to red, we can now see that the text down here is red and we can see the color equals red. Now, one of the things I also want to show you is that you can send multiple uh, variable values. So here we have change color to blue and size to 20. So we click on this and now the font size is now 20 and it's blue and change color to red and size to 40. Now we can see that it's red and the size is 40. Now up here, what we can see is that we are passing variable names and variable values up here. And then basically this git.php script is then parsing that, being able to grab the values out, and then we're able to interact with those values just as normal uh, variable values in any other PHP script. Now the important thing to understand is that this is a very insecure way uh, for being able to send variable values. So you should not, to be clear, you should not be sending usernames and passwords or server addresses in this. Just to show you how insecure this is, is one, one, we can completely read this. Like this, I'm not doing anything special. Like this shows up just because it shows up. And then the other thing is people can simply come in here and just modify it as they see fit. So if I want to do size 60 and I hit enter, we can now see that it's size 60. Now I, I don't have size 60 coded anywhere into the script. I can simply just come in here and just just modify again as I want. I could do a green, right? And I hit enter and now the text is green. So this is where I say this is a incredibly insecure way of sending variable values. But again, if all you're doing is doing things such as uh, making text bigger, changing colors, doing basic stuff like this, uh, being able to send the variable names and values in a hyperlink is very useful. So with that, let's go over and actually take a look at the code. So here's the code that we have for this particular project. Uh, now it is important to understand with this particular project, we only have one file. So we simply have the one git.php script. There are no additional scripts or files that go along with this. Essentially what happens is basically we are just passing 
these uh, these uh, values and the hyperlinks to the script itself. Then the script itself parses it and it modifies. So there's no additional. There's not two or three scripts here. We simply have this one script file. Now I am showing you how to write this today in VS Code. It is important to understand. All you need is a basic ASCII text editor in order to be able to code in PHP. So uh, you can use Notepad in the Windows world, text edit in the Mac world, gedit, nano, vim, whatever you want in the Linux world. I've decided to start using VS Code because it's a little bit easier for you folks to be able to see what's going on, especially since it does things like changing colors and such based off of whatever you're doing. So this is the script itself. Again, all this is is git.php. This is up on my LAMP server, my Linux Apache MySQL PHP server. Uh, we're going to open the PHP and then for git, this is all we have. This is all we have for being able to parse uh, basically the variable values that are coming in. So we create a variable called dollar sign color and then we do git and then we get whatever the value for color is that's coming through in the hyperlink, right? So we're gonna talk about that in a second. Then we create a variable for size, dollar sign size, get, and then whatever the value for size is. Then we come down here and basically up here, these are the get hyperlinks that I've created. So we're echoing out four different hyperlinks. Uh, so the first echo, what we're doing, printing out the hyperlink is, so we're going to send to get.php. So it's period forward slash get.php. So this is saying in the current folder, go to the script called get.php. Then we're going to give it a question mark. Very important, we give it the question mark. The next thing is basically we're saying, okay, we're gonna be sending you variable names and variable values past this. And then all you do is you give whatever the variable name is. And so you, you make this up, whatever variable name you want it to be, you can name it whatever you want it to be. If you want it to name Bob and Tim and Fred, you can name that. Um, again, <laughs> naming conventions, I would, I would say that you should name it something you understand. And so basically I am creating a variable name here called color. And the important thing is, is this variable name is going to go here within the git. So you do git, then bracket, single quotation mark, and then whatever the variable name is here. And so what we're doing here is then we're going to setting the variable name to equal. So the value of variable name will be blue. So we're saying color equals blue. And then we simply close single quotation mark here. We close the beginning of the AHREF. Then again, we're just simply printing out change color to blue. That's the text that will show up. Uh, then we're going to close the hyperlink. We're going to completely close the AHREF and then we are going to do a break. So here AHREF equals single quotation mark in this directory, go to the git.php script. For the .git.php script, we are going to be sending variables. So we do a question mark. The first variable name will be color. It is going to equal blue. We close that single quotation mark. We clo close the angle. And then we're gonna say whatever the text is. We close the href, and then we break to the next line. The next line, it's, it's literally exactly the same. Again, in this folder, go to the git.php script. We are going to be sending a variable, question mark. This time the color is going to equal red. So now the color is going to equal red, change color, red, so on and so forth. So if we go back and we look at the demonstration, we can see here, and again, change color to blue and see git.php question mark color equals blue. Change color to red, git.php question mark color equals red. So this, again, you're sending the variable name and you're sending the va value to that PHP script. It then comes up here, it sets this variable value to whatever that git is. So find the, the value for color that's being sent. Then we're going to go down and basically we're gonna say echo. And then here we're actually going to send two values. So we're going to send color and we're going to send size. Basically the exact same thing that we did before, a href uh, in this particular folder. So period forward slash git.php question mark. We're sending variable values and names. Color equals blue and so you use that little and symbol right there size equals 20 and so you can actually send multiple you could send a whole bunch of uh, variable uh, values here if you want to we're just going to do uh, color and size so size equals 20 change color to blue and size 20. get php color equals red and and size equals 40 change color to red and size 40. so when you click on this hyperlink up here it's going to be, this is going to be red and this is going to be 40. If you go here, then this is going to be blue and this is going to be 20. And then all we're doing down here is echoing out. You should understand how this works. We're simply echoing out H1, example of text output. 
then what we're saying here is p style equals so this is where we're using inline css so css cascading style sheets this is how we format text within html html5 and so what we're, we're simply doing here is color colon and then we're giving the value for color so dollar sign color so whatever the value is here that is what the value is going to be then we, then we do font size you know size whatever the value for size is that comes in from git and now that's the value of size. This is the output text from the Git hyperlink. Again, we go back to look at the demonstration. And so that's where when we click, that's how this is working out down here. So this is just a very quick and easy example of how Git works. Very, very useful for being able to send variable values in an absolutely unsecure fashion. But again, for basic modification for things like text, for ba doing basic things like searching, searching for tags, searching for users, things like that within a MySQL database, um, this can be a useful way for sending variable values. So now you know how to send variable names and values using Git in PHP. Again, this is a very easy way to be able to send a variable values simply using hyperlinks in order to do things like text size or doing basic searches, that type of thing, right? So basically what you'd have is in the hyperlink, again, you point to whatever PHP script you're pointing to, then you do a question mark, then you do the variable name equals and then whatever the value is. You then do the and symbol, variable name equals whatever the value is and the symbol if you want, variable name equals, so on, so, so on and so forth. Then for the PHP script that you're pointing to, you then create variable names in PHP, so dollar sign color, dollar sign size, dollar sign whatever else, you're then going to set them to be equal to that get, bracken, single quotation mark, and then whatever the variable name is that you put into the hyperlink. So, so uh, bracket, single quotation mark, color, close single quotation mark, bracket, uh, bracket, single quotation mark, size, close single quotation mark, bracket so on and so forth once you've then set the value of those php variables they're now PHP variables. Go and do whatever the hell you want to do with them. Um, but do be careful. Have I told you that this is completely and utterly insecure? Have I, have I told you that? Have I told you the fact that basically your end users are going to be able to see exactly what variable names and values you're sending to the PHP script? So don't put in usernames. Don't put in passwords. Don't put anything like that. And again, your end users can very easily modify uh, that Git. So basically, you, as I showed you, they they can change the, the size of the font, they can change the color, whatever else. And so again, this is an important thing. This is why, like if you're going to be interacting with something like a MySQL database, you might do searches based off of this. So searching for tags might make sense. So basically, if they're clicking through and they're looking for specific tags, having the end user simply being able to go up in that hyperlink and modify what tag value it's looking for, that might be a very useful thing, very easy to do. On the other hand, <laughs> you don't want to be using this to do things like add records or delete records or search based off of anything um, that might be secure. Again, you don't want them searching off of usernames or passwords or anything like that. Uh, so do be careful with how you design your, uh, your, your PHP web application using the Git. It's one of those things absolutely incredibly easy to use incredibly value valuable as long as you don't use it for anything <laughs> too stupid too stupid too too so anyways as always i enjoy doing this class and look forward to seeing the next one if you like the content that i create please think about going to elinethecomputerguy.com and becoming a member or donating please understand that all the educational videos are in front of the paywall that includes the videos that includes the notes the diagrams and the code example all of that is freely available and in front of the paywall but if you want to watch opinion videos or if you want to be able to comment you do need to become a member membership is five dollars a month or sixty dollars a year and gives you access to those opinion videos and the ability uh, to comment if you don't want to become a member you just want to give a one-time uh, donation there is also a donate button where you can do that please understand in order to provide the education that i am it does cost money servers cost money equipment costs money travel costs money all of these things cost a reasonable amount of money and the fact of the matter is is youtube's advertising program no longer supports creators the way that it used to so if you want to these classes to continue to stick around and you find them to be valuable please think about either becoming a monthly member or donating a few dollars for this project